definitely not the wing to attack. Double fault, and very early in the Stockholm final, we've had one of those two game swings. Oh, wow, that was quite something. And a qualifier who could do no wrong. The length on that return, spot on again. Double down even more. Four in the game, and the three set points. Down by the wayside. It's just about going with what you like. His level is rising, Monfils. What a stunner. He's hit another line. A game of high quality for both, but especially Pavel Kotov and also the first. Puts that away at an acute angle. The back of the court, Morphys. However, Kotov would not be denied. Too good. Quality on display in this final has been quite something. <laughs> oh, how did he get that one back? That was Morphys esque. Oh. Oh, he stuck that return also. <laughs> Two of them saved. <laughs> he 
comes out of that game. <laughs> wonderful time to play and also execute. He had to be alert. He had to be because he maybe I thought that ball was going to go wide. One-two combination, potent for most. He's missed that, and we are headed to a decider. First double fault for him since the first set when he hit four in one game, and he was broken in that game as well. He's looking to rediscover the magic of the first couple of sets, Kotov. Oh, Morphis, the countering to perfection. Picked off. It's a shot that he has made most of this week, Coach. There's the drop shot. Gaia Malfis becomes the oldest winner in Stockholm history. To the delight of his team. What a final it was. But it is Malfis who comes through and it's also his 12th career title. Four six seven six six three. But you love to see him win, and you can see what it means to him and to his team as well. To be back inside the winner's circle, and not only that, but to see it, to have his parents or his mum, pardon me, and his team, his wife, there watching him as well. You don't always get to, to win titles in front of family. So this is extra special, I would say, for him.